we have some of the nation's most fertile soil. It's the birthplace of blues. B.B. King, Muddy Waters. While the Delta has its unique beauty, it's also had its unique challenges. It has the highest levels of poverty, has the highest levels of medically underserved, educational attainment, home ownership are all at lower levels than anywhere else in the country. My mom used to always encourage me to ask why. I remember as a kid wondering why people needed money. Why couldn't we help each other to succeed? And um, I think I'm still asking why. Credit union's kind of in my blood. It's the first washing machine that was in our house was bought through a loan from the credit union. When I went to college, my grandma took a deposit from the credit union and bought my suit. We bought my mom's first house with a loan from a credit union. We moved out of a single wide trailer that had holes in the floor. I saw the power all my life of what credit union could do. It is a powerful tool that helps communities help themselves, and that's what we're trying to do at Hope. I have often said that Hope is a continuation of the civil rights movement. And when a person can begin to lift oneself up, to have a better home, to have a better job, to be able to walk into an establishment, and certainly a financial establishment, and be treated as a human being, respected as a human being, you can lift yourself up and you can walk out with class and with dignity. Hope members are blue collar workers, they're families, they're business people, they're kids who are saving, first time homeowners. They're people just like you and me. Hope is that essential human quality that enables people to live beyond their present situation. Hope is a tomorrow. Hope is that I'll stay strong and keep living right. Hope is dignity. In my darkest dreams, I hope. If we had not found hope, the town probably would have been lost. Hope recognizes that we are all bound to each other, that we are a part of a common humanity. It keeps you going. It keeps you going.